Hi, this is Madhura B. Shetty, Statistics Lecturer, presently working in Alvas College, Moodbidre. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I mainly touch upon three points. Definition of statistics, characteristics of statistics, and application of statistics. This video would be definitely useful for the beginners who are eagerly waiting to learn statistics without wasting your time. Have a look on this video. This will definitely help you. Well, let me start the session. As you can see in the picture, there are four question marks, isn't it? Yes, exactly. I am going to brief you about what is statistics, where it is used, when you can use statistics, and how can it be statistically analyzed. Before getting into the topic, let me take the example of present situation of coronavirus. I'll tell you how government is going to analyze the situation. First, they'll collect the information from the hospitals regarding patients' age, gender, place, symptoms, and some other general information. For better understanding, they used to present it in a systematic manner by classification. They can also show it through graphs in this way. This graph shows weekly data of coronavirus case district wise this is not the exact data just for the example sake i have considered this data by looking at this graph you can make out number of positive cases recovered and dead cases in five districts next they start studying the data using different tools and techniques they can also guess the future value say corona cases for next week or next month like that. Finally, they draw a useful conclusion. This is what exactly happens in statistics. As I explained it before, first you collect the data for better understanding, you present it in a systematic manner, then studying data through different tools and techniques, finally concluding is what statistics is. Now I'll come to the definition of statistics. Statistics is a science of collection, presentation, analyzation, and interpretation of numerical data. Let me explain it in detail. See, in statistics, first you should collect the information from the quad field. Now the question is, how to collect the data? You can collect the data in two ways. One is by primary method, another one is by secondary method. Suppose, if you are collecting the data directly from the field, that you call it as primary data or else you can call it as first hand data. In this method, you individually, you personally go for collection of data, either you go for questionnaire method or personal interview method or some other method that is left to you. Let me not concentrate on the methods under primary data collection. Say for example, if I go on collecting the information regarding population, education status, income and so on from the people of particular village directly that becomes primary data collection. Coming to secondary data collection method where you collect the information from some other person who had already collected the data. This is second hand data. I will take the same example as before. If you collect this information from village panchayat office that becomes secondary data collection. Usually one can find this secondary data from newspapers, on different websites, journals, publications, so on. Say, I can get the gold price data, stock market details on websites. Let me make this topic more clear for you people by this example. 
If I collect your contact number by asking you itself directly, that will be primary data. Otherwise, if I will collect your contact number through your friend, that will be secondary data. I think most of you can understand the situation. Next thing is presentation part. See, once you collect the data, for better understanding, you should classify the things and present it in a systematic manner, say in tabular form. You can also present it through graphs. Now, let me consider data collection regarding yield of paddy. In order to present it in a systematic manner, I am going to classify the present data through type of seeds, S1, S2, S3. Type of fertilizer used, F1, F2, F3. And also I can classify it through the plots in this way. Moving on to analyzation. Here, you are going to study the entire data using statistical methods. Here, you can use two types of statistical methods. One is descriptive statistics. Another one is inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics includes mean, median, mode, standard deviation, minimum maximum value, skewness kurtosis and so on. It includes graphical presentation as well. All you are going to do is describe or summarizing the data. Whereas in inferential statistics, we come across different statistical tests, say t-test, chi-square test, etc. based on your data and sample. It is also going to add regression analysis and so on for better conclusion. Finally, we will give the proper conclusion based on the analyzation part. Come guys, let us know about characteristics of statistics. First point, only aggregate of facts or group of facts can be statistically analyzed. Single fact cannot be analyzed in statistics. See, if you have one corona positive patient with us, we cannot finalize the symptoms of coronavirus by looking at one patient. If we have group of patients with us, who have got corona positive, then by proper observation with samples taken, we can make out the similar symptoms which can be seen through the coronavirus patients. Same way, suppose if you have weight of one student, then you cannot talk about central tendency, which includes mean median mode. One cannot talk about variance, frequency distribution, graphs like that. If you have weight of 20 students, one can compare weight among students. You can figure out many things like average, variance, so and so. That is why only aggregate of facts can be statistically analyzed. Statistics should be numerically expressed. I'll explain it through examples. Instead of having statement like Priya's marks is better than Aarti, it could be better if you have marks of both numerically to analyze it statistically. Suppose when dancing competition is going on, instead of giving the judgment like her stage presence is very good, her expressions are awesome, postures are perfect like that, it's better to announce marks for each criteria. It is affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of causes. See, sometimes single fact is going to depend on many other factors in statistics. We cannot consider single factor to analyze by neglecting other factors. Say for example, student's performance in examination may depend on student effort, teaching, student concentration, environment, 
and friends group and so on it is not possible to neglect any one of the factors here Though degree of measurement is different for different criteria, statistics should be estimated according to standards of accuracy. You all know that weight can be measured through kgs, diameter of screw can be measured through millimeter. Similarly, measurements are different for different criteria. Only thing is specify the measurements through standards. That's it. data should be collected in a systematic manner that means you should plan the collection properly via statistical procedures you should decide it first whether you are going for survey questionnaire or interview like that there should be a specific reason to collect the data otherwise the data becomes useless say Research scholars use the data for their research and students may use the data for their projects similarly in business marketing in many other fields statistics is used to develop or bring the changes over there here i go for presenting applications of statistics Let me tell you how statistics can be used in advertisement field. Advertisers use statistical evaluation to identify needs, expectations of consumers through survey and interviews and then implement new things which is required for their products and finally they go for advertisement campaign keeping before and after advertisement records. using statistical test they'll come to know whether the advertisement is successful or not in order to improve the academic performance of students institution will start summarizing the mark details of students using statistical methods and later on they'll bring the changes if at all required this will be same in case of students feedback and so on statistics is used in weather forecasting as well based on past observations they can predict or estimate the future values in agricultural field to know the effect of fertilizers or seeds on yield they can use statistical methods in business field to plan the future business activities related to profit cost etc statistical techniques can be used to formulate policies in economics and to know the relationship between the variables statistical tools can be used i think in medical field to know what and all the factors affecting the disease they'll use statistical methods there are a lot of other fields where we can find the applications of statistics thanks for watching my video if you like this video tap like button and for more videos subscribe my channel thank you